Hi there guys, Barry at One Man in His Boat here and welcome to our second episode where we're going to be talking about putting in bulkheads into the Barry B. Right guys, this is the front bulkhead fibreglass in from the outside. I have stalled to a uh, fibreglass on the inside, but I'm just waiting on things drying at the present. The bulkhead itself is made up of 12mm marine plywood. On either side of the plywood there is two layers of 900 ounce chopped strand matting. Welcome to inside the cuddy. This is the inside of the bulkhead itself. I don't know if you can see. This is 75mm fiberglass tissue that I've done the top end. But I've, today's task is I've still to do the sides right down here, right to the bottom. And this is the tissue I was talking about, guys. It's a heavy woven mat tissue it's called. This is what we use to put our bulkheads in. Because of the shape of the boat it's absolutely critical that the bulkhead is put in place and is super strong because this will take the bends and the twists out of the boat itself. So how did we get the shape for the bulkhead itself? Well in order to do that we have to make a pattern. Now Unfortunately, an Orkney longliner is what's known as a clinker type vessel and that basically means plank over plank, which obviously you see here. Now, each of the plank has a wee 45 degree lip on the bottom of it and that's for when the wave hits the, f the bow of the boat, that's a wave deflects from the front of the vessel and keeps you away, the, well, should keep the spray away for you. So what I had to do to actually get the pattern is make up some blocks of plywood. These are 5mm by 2.5 inches by 5 inches and what we did is we glued them all together inside the vessel for the shape of the boat as you can see here. Oh and it does help if you number and tag them. Obviously that's starboard side 2, starboard side 1. Once I had our initial patterned um, copied out, glued together and ready for a uh, fitment, we had to transfer this on another piece of plywood to make a whole sculpture. Pardon the noise. And this is your outcome. Obviously it's got the exact shape of what we need before we make the bulkhead. Now you transfer this onto your 12mm uh, marine plywood, draw around it, cut it out with the, the jigsaw. Now when you come to fit the 12mm plywood you've got to remember you've just cut it straight however with the shape of the boat you have to angle each bevel on the clinker and the way you do that is basically by yeah, using your grinder with a flap disc on it and then just inch away at a time it's a lot of visits back in and back out of the boat until you get the pattern correct and if you go, if you make a little mistake, it's not too bad because you can fill that in with Sikaflex as you fit the, the bulkhead into where it needs to be anyway. Hey right guys, at the back of the boat, this is where you're going to get all the spray that does come out across from the bow. So the back end has to be quite tight. So it's the same process as what I showed you at the front end um, with your 12mm ply and your Sikaflex in at the, the joint and then the tissue paper over the top. I've used uh, Oreoko hardwood f uh, for the top because that will last forever. I just need to finish this off by putting 20mm bungs in, um, flush them off and then sand them down. And then the doors are put in by marine grade aluminium channeling. 
hold on now till I show you in here so that's your channel and that'll keep your doors nice and straight that's top and bottom and then at the back end I've actually wrapped the tissue top and bottom as well at the back of the cuddy um, I wouldn't if you've got an Orkney, I wouldn't put anything that can take any damage for you, uh, sea salt and stuff like that in the back. It's just basically odds and sods that are going in there. Um, for all your life vests and petrol and everything like that, I would suggest keeping them up the front because that'll be the driest cabin out the road. Right, up here guys, what we've got is the, all the wood that'll help with the front door or the front cuddy. Um, basically what this will do is hopefully stop water penetration getting into the, the front cabin. And here's the front door itself. Now if you can imagine, this is the inside of the bulkhead. Now this wooden frame is where we're going to put the in, uh, new door for the front end of the bulkhead itself. Now this is to stop water ingress to the front cabin. So what we can do is once it's located inside the bulkhead, is put weather stripping around the top and then that way eh, once the door is shut that's it it's, it's sealed it's watertight so here we go this is what it should look like you have your door here and that's hinged onto the bulkhead on the outside obviously this is the thickness of the bulkhead that's out there and then we get our next set of pieces And then we we'll attach these to the outside of the bulkhead. I knew that was going to happen. These will get attached to the door itself. And as you can see, we have a sandwich effect. Now that should stop any water from getting inside the cabin. So there you have it guys, if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel and you'll find us all on the usual social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Cheers now guys, bye!